Hi, I'm James Archer, founder of the ShareLingo Project, and today I'm going to explain to you really quickly uh, this Spanish success path. Uh, there's a document here, an overview that you can download yourself, and then there's also uh, a more detailed description of what I'm about to talk about here on this page. So hopefully you can grab both of those. The Spanish success path um, was something that I developed because so many people are just caught in an endless loop. They, they do the same thing day after day uh, with their apps, trying to learn more and still never get to the stage where they can actually speak with Spanish speakers. Um, that's something that I went through myself. I failed at everything. Uh, I tried apps, Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, Community College, went to four different language schools and basically failed speaking Spanish. But I found something that works and uh, developed that into a progression of steps, easy steps to follow that everybody really has to follow in order to have success learning another language. In my case, it's Spanish and you're probably here because it's Spanish for you also. We're gonna start here by just drawing five boxes. All right, and these are going to represent the five stages that everybody has to go through if they want to speak another language. And I'm actually going to draw the last one down here. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm not actually going to talk about these in order, even though you have to follow these in order. And I'll explain why in just a minute. So. What everybody wants, I don't know anybody who says, gee, I wish I could study Spanish. That's just not what people say. What do you say? I wish I could speak Spanish. So your ultimate goal is to meet people, find people. So the idea is there are people who want to speak English. If you can find them, and practice with them and speak with them and find out about their culture, whether that's here in the United States, um, overseas if you're traveling to other countries, or even online through um, FaceTime or Skype or Zoom or any one of those platforms, your ultimate goal is to talk to people. That might be at work. Uh, if you're a school teacher, you wanna talk to the parents in your school, for example, all right? So this is where you're headed, and this is where you wanna to get to. That makes sense, right? Okay, this is actually step number five. You're probably a little bit um, embarrassed or hesitant right now if you meet people and you're like, hola, como estas? And then they start talking to you in Spanish. We wanna get past that. Okay, now step number two is knowing that there are two parts of the puzzle. Okay, two parts of the speaking Spanish puzzle. And the problem is that this stage right here is where so many people get stuck in this endless loop. So let me define this really quickly. In fact, let's use different color. So one is your foundation and the other is practice. Okay. Foundation, <clears throat> that is your vocabulary and grammar. Now the problem is that there are so many possibilities for picking up more vocabulary, you think, right? So you can get on your phone and you can get onto Duolingo, which is a great product that we recommend to every one of our students for learning more vocabulary. The problem is a lot of people spend time with their apps like Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, um, and so many others, Babbel. These are good apps. You do need vocabulary. But if you just sit in your room and do only vocabulary and you never use that vocabulary, you get stuck in this loop and you're going through the same things. And as you go further, you forget what you have tried to learn previously. And this is a mistake that so many people made. It's a mistake that I made when I was learning. And ultimately, I gave up on the apps. And believe it or not, 
that's when I started really speaking Spanish. Practice is the number one key thing that everybody needs and everybody wants. But it's also the thing that people are the most afraid of. So you know that you need to practice whatever you're learning with Duolingo, but you're most afraid of reaching out to a Spanish speaker to practice Spanish with you. That's normal. That's totally normal. So in order to be successful speaking Spanish, we have to get you past the fear of finding somebody to practice with. And that's what we're going to do. The first thing, so now we can talk about number one, which is knowing why, your unique why. Your unique why. It's not the same for everybody. Some people want to be a better doctor. Some people want to be a better nurse. Some people want to be a better school teacher. Some people are in construction. Some people want to um, travel. That's my passion. I want to be able to go to Mexico or Colombia or some other country, be able to leave my hotel, see the people, experience the culture, and never worry about can I get back to my hotel or what am I eating or any of those things. So <clears throat> for me, my unique why is to travel. Now once I define my unique why, that tells me what I can focus on so that I can learn the most useful stuff as soon as possible. All right. All right. So once you have identified and written down your why, which I recommend you put on your mirror in the morning so you see it all the time, then we can come into knowing about foundation and practice. We can focus our grammar and vocabulary learning on the things that we want to learn the most. And when we find somebody to practice with, we'll know what to practice with them. All right. So let's talk about finding somebody to practice with, All right? Well, one of the things that we have to know before we go out and we encounter a Spanish speaker to practice with, wouldn't it be great to know how to practice with them? Um, th there's a lot of people that have other people to practice with. People in restaurants, for example, where the front staff often speak English and the back staff often speak Spanish. This is really common, especially here in Denver. And the two groups want to interact with each other. They play with each other and they often say, you know, like, hey, you teach me Spanish, I'll teach you English. But they really only get past the greetings, hellos, the names of the dishes, and, you know, some of the funny bad words, right? So before you meet people, you need to know how to practice. how to practice. And there is something important here. Um, one of the things that we teach is, at ShareLingo is you want 50-50, not 30-30. I'm going to write that, all right? 50-50, not 30-30. What do I mean? Well, a lot of people say, okay, let's practice for an hour, all right? We'll do 30 minutes in English and then 30 minutes in Spanish. I'm going to tell you in a minute why that's bad. All right. What you're striving for is 50 50. You want it to be equal. You want to spend the same amount of time practice with each other, but you don't want to do it all at once. You don't want to do 30 minutes in a row of Spanish. Why? Because this right here, step number three is knowing how to learn. So many people try to learn too much and ultimately they end up going slower. They make no progress. Here's the key, all right? It's much better to learn one word or phrase really well per day, say, than trying to study a hundred words and phrases all at one time and learning none of them. I hope this makes sense. It's drinking from the fire hose, all right? If the fire hose is beating on you, 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 you got so much going on, you can't get a drink. And so learning how to learn, there's something called progression theory, 
and it's the idea of doing a little bit every day. Duolingo tries to do that with keep the owl happy, you know, come back every day and, and reinforce what you're learning. But really, what it's about is coming back. If you do 30 minutes of English and 30 minutes of Spanish, you're going to be overwhelmed. But if you go back and forth and you help somebody learn a little bit of English, then they help you learn the same thing in Spanish. And then you reinforce that with some training. That is what's going to make it really sink in. And ultimately, you're going to reach your goals a lot quicker. So now we have the five stages that everybody has to go through in order to speak another language. You're going to start by knowing why you want to speak the language. You're going to understand that you don't want to get stuck in this endless loop of just doing vocabulary and grammar. You're going to understand why practice with a human being is what makes it all sink in and makes the process so easy, right? You're going to understand that learning involves different parts of your brain. You want to learn pronunciation, but you also want to learn how words work. Um, and you don't want to be overwhelmed or stressed. When you're stressed, it's very difficult to learn. Whereas if you're excited, if you're in that alpha state, you know, where time passes so quickly, you don't even know that time is passing, then it's fun and then you learn, right? Then you want to find out, okay, when I'm with my practice partners, what am I going to do with them? This is really big stuff. Um, it includes bilingual materials, like, you know, do I have something that I can use to practice with my partners? Then we want to learn, this is actually a triangle here um, that, that we teach. And one is you're going to work with other learners. Uh, it's very, it's very useful and effective for you to practice Spanish with other English speakers who want to learn Spanish. This is <clears throat> a lot better exercise than people think. Then you want to practice with um, safe, right, safe people. So that might be people online, Spanish speakers who are online in a forum, you meet them, you know that they're trying to learn English and you interact over Zoom or FaceTime to work with them and you feel safe because you're kind of, you've got this computer between us and you're just there. But your ultimate goal is face to face. Okay, so with this, you're gonna work with other Spanish learners, then you're gonna work online. Um, in fact, safe maybe isn't even the right word. Let's just call this online. All right, so we're gonna go with other learners like yourself, then online, people who wanna learn English, and then face-to-face -face with Spanish speakers who want to improve their English, and ultimately Spanish speakers wherever you travel or you teach or you're working. All right, <clears throat> this is the Spanish success path. TM. I hope that helps uh, understand what it is that we're sharing with you here. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. Follow our pages on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the links should be here wherever you're finding this video. Take care, nos, ves, nos vemos pronto. Yo soy James, otra vez del Proyecto Sherlingo y espero que estés bien. Chao.